Hello Sagittarius, season's greetings. These messages are gonna be for the 23rd of December through the 30th, 2023. Follow me on my other platforms like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. And be sure to follow and check back next week because I'm going to do a special New Year's reading for your sign. And I'll never DM you guys. I'll never solicit you. If you want to book me, do so through Etsy. It is safe and secure. This is going to be about soul lessons and sort of like what is your soul, you know, absorbing at this time? What do you, you know, maybe you're stuck on something or there's just something you need to know perhaps um, and what can bring you peace. All right, let's get into it. So your soul is, I feel like, going through growth, growth period. This is um, when you make some major changes. This is when you make some major realizations about your life and about the way you want to live your life and about the people in your life, whether these people are causing you to grow or keeping you, you know, stuck. I do feel like, you know, you might be dealing with a really difficult situation and you might feel like, oh my God, is this punishment or what's going on here? I feel like it's like the calm before the storm, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, you are constantly being presented with situations that will help you grow. We're constantly being put through tests. So I feel like whatever you're going through is a test right now that you will succeed through it and it will cause you immense growth. It's also kind of a reminder to live a mindful life, not only about like respecting and honoring those around you, but also about recognizing every person and every circumstance in your path or on your path as a teacher, as someone that's teaching you. Um, even the hurts, even the you know people who have betrayed us, they're all teaching us something. Life on earth is hard and you know it can be incredibly distracting um, and wasting time on people who you know will not prosper or will not change or there's like, you know, those no hope situations that just takes away your energy and it takes away from your growth. So take the time to be aware of your, you know, your boundaries and a way, in a way, I feel like, um, keep them, maintain them. Um, and, you know, be aware of your wisdom, all the wisdom that you've accumulated through all the years of all the strife and all the challenges, all of that counts. And, um, you know, I know sometimes it feels unfair, but I do feel like there's major growth coming for you. It's it's like huge growth, you know, it's like from the cocoon to the butterfly, okay? What else do we need to know? So we got turn your worry into wonder and surrender to the experience. So yeah, you might be living in your head a lot. There might be like a lot of worry, you know, worry that you can't calm it down. You can't, um, no matter what you do, you can't breathe it out. You can't shut it up. Um, you might be being too hard on yourself too. Your fears have been getting the best of you and causing you unnecessary anxiety and unnecessary, you know, worry and stress. But fear has a sneaky way of tricking us into believing that worry is helping. And our ego loves to worry because it feels in control. So most of our anxiety is based on false perceptions and beliefs. And if, um, you know, we remove ourselves from the illusion and we separate ourselves and look at it, we could see the truth. And, you know, great love is all around you. Trust the universe is, you know, getting your back and always, you know, putting you in alignment with things that are for your highest good. And when you're really stressed like that, work on your breathing, you know, try to like get, get rid of some of those doubts, you know, turn your attention to wonder and excitement and you know, focus on the positives and focus on the positives that will be instead of worrying what can't be. Check back next week.